The St. Louis Cardinals have a real need in the starting rotation right now. St. Louis had a disastrous start to the 2024 campaign but has turned things around significantly. The Cardinals were below .500 by over 10 games at one point, but now they find themselves in second place in the National League Central. This remarkable turnaround has put the team back in contention and has given the front office a renewed sense of urgency to strengthen the roster as they approach the trade deadline. The Cardinals are in good shape, but if they can add another starter to shore up the rotation, they could end up making some noise and surprising people. The starting rotation, while improved, still lacks the depth and reliability needed for a deep playoff run. With the trade deadline fast approaching, the Cardinals are actively seeking options to bolster their pitching staff. The Athletics' Katie Wu put together a list of possible trade targets, and one player who made the list was Toronto Blue Jays' all-star UCI Kikuchi. Tyler Anderson is having a great year for the Los Angeles Angels, though he's a bit more pricey than Eric Fed, Wu said. Anderson has one year remaining on his contract after this season and is owed $13 million in 2025. The Cardinals' rotation features five right-handers, so mixing in a lefty like Anderson could be a focus. Other left-handed options available on expiring contracts include UCI Kikuchi, Toronto Blue Jays, Andrew Heaney, Texas Rangers, and Jose Quintana, New York Mets. Kikuchi may be the most intriguing option out of the bunch. He has one all-star nod under his belt and likely won't cost too much this season, thanks to his 4.18 ERA entering Wednesday night's action. His performance from April 5 through June 11 was particularly impressive, as he logged a 3.08 ERA in 73 innings pitched with a 2.91 FIP. Despite his overall numbers, Kikuchi has been a very productive starter this season, showing flashes of brilliance that could benefit the Cardinals' rotation. Acquiring Kikuchi would provide the Cardinals with a reliable left-handed option to complement their predominantly right-handed rotation. His presence could balance the rotation and offer a different look against opposing lineups. Additionally, Kikuchi's experience and past success in high-pressure situations could prove invaluable during the stretch run and potential postseason appearances. Beyond Kikuchi, the Cardinals have other options to consider. Andrew Heaney of the Texas Rangers and Jose Quintana of the New York Mets are also left-handed starters who could be on the move. Heaney has shown potential but has struggled with consistency, while Quintana is a seasoned veteran who could provide stability and leadership to the rotation. Both pitchers are on expiring contracts, making them attractive rental options for a team looking to make a playoff push. If you don't want T.O. miss the latest news, subscribe T.O. this channel now because we are always attention to the latest news from St. Louis Cardinals. The Cardinals' front office will need to weigh the cost of acquiring these pitchers against their potential impact. While giving up top prospects or key pieces from the current roster might be a tough pill to swallow, the reward could be a strengthened rotation capable of competing with the best teams in the league. The next few weeks will be crucial for the Cardinals as they navigate trade discussions and evaluate their options. The decisions made during this period will shape the team's chances for the rest of the season and determine whether they can capitalize on their midseason resurgence. If the Cardinals can successfully bolster their rotation, they could emerge as a formidable contender and make a deep run in October, much to the delight of their fans. In addition to the starting rotation, the Cardinals might also explore options to strengthen their bullpen. While the bullpen has been a strong point this season, adding depth could provide insurance against injuries and fatigue. High-leverage relievers with a track record of success in the postseason could be valuable assets. Another area of potential improvement is the offense. While the Cardinals have shown signs of life at the plate, consistency remains an issue. Acquiring a power bat or a versatile hitter who can get on base at a high clip could help sustain the offensive momentum. A player like Brent Rooker from the Oakland Athletics, who has been a consistent power threat this season, might be an ideal target. The Cardinals' resurgence has been fueled by standout performances from key players. Nolan Arenado and Paul Goldschmidt have been the anchors of the lineup, providing power and run production. The emergence of younger players like Jordan Walker and Lars Nutbar has added depth and excitement to the offense. On the pitching side, the contributions of Adam Wainwright, Miles McCullough, and Jack Flaherty have been crucial in stabilizing the rotation. Manager Oliver Marmel has done an excellent job of keeping the team focused and motivated despite the early season struggles. His leadership will be essential as the Cardinals navigate the challenges of the trade deadline and the playoff push. 
Marmol's ability to manage the pitching staff, make strategic in-game decisions, and maintain a positive clubhouse environment will be key factors in the team's success.